I want to get down to brass tacks. I want to be very, very specific. What does this onus feel like? You mentioned it's painful. It is. Uh, there's a tightness in my chest, a difficulty breathing, and a pain, burning pain. The pain spreads everywhere. Sounds horrible. Does it hurt right now? <coughs> well, um, there's always some mild discomfort, yes. Electricity is everywhere in the modern world, but I want to show appreciation uh, for the uh, accommodations the panel has taken today. I can handle this just fine. Right. So with the lights out, you don't feel those? If there's no current flowing through, no. Ah. Sorry about the exit signs. I, I guess they couldn't kill those for you. Well, they're far away and they're not drawing much current. Uh, the power drops off with distance per the uh, inverse square law. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Inverse square. I, I'm no physicist. Could you dumb that down a shade for me? The farther something is away, the more power it has to generate in order to have an effect on me. Got it, got it. So if I had a small battery, say from a watch or something, and I got it close to you, cl close to your skin, you know? I'd feel it, yes. Can you feel any more current coming from any particular direction right now? From that back wall or over there, up through the floor? Can you tell us where the nearest source is right now? Jimmy, do you have something in your pocket? Yes, I do. As a matter of fact, my cell phone. From this distance, you should feel it, and you don't, do you? Mr. McGill, you were warned to leave your electronics outside. Uh, it's, it's all right. It's all right. May I? <coughs> Oh, huh, just as I thought. There's no battery in here. You removed the battery. It's a sorry little trick, isn't it? Yeah. You got me, Chuck. Dead to rights. I took the battery out. Objection! Sustain. You're taking all the leeway you're getting, Mr. McGill. Wrap it up fast. God, Jimmy. Don't you know by now this is real? This is something I feel. This is a, a, a physical response to stimuli. This isn't a, 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 a quirk. What do I have to do to prove it to you? I don't know, Chuck. Could you uh, reach into your breast pocket and tell me what's there? What now? You tell the court what that was. A battery. Mr. Chairman. Do you recognize that man in the back? His name is Huel Babineau. He's on our witness list. You bumped into him in the stairway. He'll testify that he planted this fully charged battery on you over an hour and a half ago. An hour and 43 minutes. An hour and 43 minutes. Thank you, Mr. Babineau. And you felt nothing. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. no. This, this is a trick. It has to be. That's enough. I submit that Mr. McGill's mental illness is a non-issue. If he was schizophrenic, it wouldn't take away from the fact that they defended him. I'm not crazy! <laughs> I'm not crazy. I know he swapped those numbers. The digits were 1216, one after Magna Carta. As if I could ever make a mistake like that. Never. Never! <sighs> he swapped them somehow. I just couldn't prove it. He covered his tracks somehow. He got that, that idiot from the coffee shop to lie for him. Mr. McGill, please, you oh. don't have to. Oh, 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 you think this is something? You think this is bad, this chicanery? He's done worse. I can prove it. That billboard. Do you think a man just happens to fall like that? No, he orchestrated it. Jimmy, he defecated through a sunroof. And I saved him. Oh, but I shouldn't have. I took him into my own firm. What was I thinking? He'll never change. He'll never change. He's always been the same ever since he was nine years old. Couldn't keep his hands out of the cash drawer. Oh, but not our Jimmy. It couldn't be our precious Jimmy. And now look, he's a lawyer. What a sick joke. 
I should have stopped you a long time ago when I had the chance. And now you, you have to stop him. You have to stop him now. You, you.